You've heard the myth. AI can spit out a miracle drug overnight and replace scientists. Let's bust that. AI doesn't swap out people. It speeds up the boring, slow parts so humans can do the hard science faster and smarter. Here's the proof. First, target discovery. Genomics proteomics literature. Think of it as a filter for signal in a mountain of noise. Second, molecule design. Generative models sketch new molecules that fit a target like a key. Other models predict properties. Will it dissolve, be toxic, or survive the liver? Instead of testing millions, I can test dozens with the best odds. Third, structure and docking. Breakthroughs like protein structure prediction give us 3D shapes, so AI can screen how molecules might bind before I buy a single chemical. Fourth, make and test loops. AI plans synthetic routes. Lab robots run mini experiments. Results feed back into the model. That active learning shrinks months of iteration into weeks. Fifth, repurposing. By mining real-world data, AI flags existing drugs that might help new conditions, speeding timelines when every day counts. Sixth, clinical trials. AI helps pick patients more likely to respond, design smarter endpoints, and monitor safety signals earlier. Do we have receipts? We've seen AI-designed candidates reach preclinical and early clinical stages, structure prediction transform target work, and imaging-first platforms map biology at scale. Not magic, momentum. Caveats. Biased data in, bad predictions out. Models can overfit and hallucinate. Everything needs wet lab proof, transparent methods, and regulatory review. So no, AI isn't a cure vending machine. It's a power tool, one that helps me ask better questions, kill bad ideas faster, and move the right medicines forward. That's how we turn hype into health.